and welcome back to the Suicide Owl Music Channel. Today I want to show you my seven principles of playing fast. I don't consider myself an expert in this field, but I tried lots of different things over the years and these are the ones that really push my playing to the next level and that are now part of my daily routine. And now without further ado, let's get into it. Principle number one is always warm up. And the reason for this is quite simple. Your muscles work faster at higher temperatures. So make sure you give them a couple of minutes worth of tension so you have a nice blood flow in your arm from your arm to your fingers. Principle number two, chunk it up. You can divide the passages that you want to play fast into tiny little packages. And that's crucial because our brain can process every note individually, especially when it's very fast. So it's almost as if you're creating little checkpoints of information that once triggered fire automatically. For example, if you want to practice three notes per string picking technique in your right hand, you can break that down to the smallest chunk possible and just practice this. In your right hand. That's the smallest chunk. It's three notes on the G string and one note on the B string. Just practice this as a chunk. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Principle number three, practice super slow for days, weeks and even months or years to build muscle memory. And um, there's a saying, the best players practice the slowest. And it's totally true. When you practice slow, you build stronger neural connections in your brain. And this is achieved by a biochemical membrane that's called myelin. Myelin? It's M-Y-E-L-I-N. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right now, but I think it's myelin. I can... Hold on a second. Myelin. Myelin. Okay, it's myelin. Basically, myelin is responsible for your learning process in the brain. And that stuff is amazing. You should check that out. Give it a shot. Google it. Practicing super slow is hard because it can feel like a waste of time. But if you look at the science of it, it totally makes sense. And it's the best way to get the most out of your time. Principle number four, avoid sloppy repetitions due to a lack of focus. Mmm, that's a hard one. If you play it wrong often enough, you train yourself to play it this way. So avoid sloppy repetitions because myelin uh, does not care how you do it. It only cares what you do. And if you play crap, you're learning crap. Principle number five, speed it up gradually every session until it's almost sloppy. Just a tiny little bit of sloppiness is fine because you want to push yourself. But you have to be honest with yourself when you feel that it's absolute garbage, you should stop. But I think it's more important that you play everything very clean most of the time. Principle number six, relax and control your tension and movements. Mm, this goes for both hands, left and right. For the right hand, make sure that your picking motion is relaxed and comes from your wrist, not from your elbow. I have a video about that. That is something that helped me back personally. If you want to know more about this, I have a video you can watch right here. Yeah. For the left hand, try to give very little pressure on the frets and find the point where the note almost dies and try to get used to this edge when you play. I'm applying just enough pressure so the string can actually ring. There it's almost dying. And finally, principle number seven, push your limit and get used to being uncomfortable. When you're pushing for speed, you will inevitably tense up. 
and you should be aware of this tension and make short breaks when it appears and then go back again. Don't push too far. You don't want to hurt yourself. So allow some tension to build up, but try to control it and then relax again. And there's a bonus tip for those of you who made it this far in the video. I can't believe it. Don't break the chain. Never. And apply all the principles consistently, especially when you're getting your first results, you have to keep going. Often I catch myself saying, now I got it, whoa. And the next day or the next week, it's completely gone. But that's part of the game. It's pretty normal, it happens all the time. And don't get discouraged. It takes months, it takes years, it takes decades, and it takes de dedication and focus. Make sure to subscribe if you like this and hit that like button. You're supporting me with this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.